Hey, dude. So being a Round Rock kid, what's it going to be like for you playing playing Texas this week? Uh, it's going to be pretty big, of course. I mean, not necessarily the fact that, I mean, I was going to be like right in town that I'm playing the team that was right down the street. And I mean, the team that my dad coached for whenever I moved to Texas and everything, but just in the fact that it's an opportunity to come play with these guys that are in the locker room with me. Uh, these seniors going to be senior uh, day for them. They're going to be the last time they probably get to play in Bill Snyder Stadium, uh, family stadium, everything like that. I mean, that's the reason why it's going to be big for me. It's going to be another opportunity to play with these guys uh, as far as everything with UT goes and being like right down the street from my home. I mean, of course, that puts a, a pretty big magnitude on it, but I mean, I'm just doing this for my guys this week. Did they uh, did they ever show any recruiting interest in you? Uh, I went to a few camps and stuff like that. And uh, when I was younger, uh, freshman, sophomore, and uh, not really. I mean, no phone calls, no texts or anything like that. So kept it pushing. OK, and uh, changing gears, when you think of uh, the struggles you guys have had as a team in the third quarter, just not really putting up points in that part of the game, what what do you think the reason is for that? Just I uh, feel like we have to execute better uh, as a team and everything like that coming out of the locker room. Uh, it's a pretty big emphasis, even in the locker room, where we're like, we have to come out here and we can't leave, lose that same spark that we had in the first quarter. And uh, just finding that rhythm, I feel like once we get that first first down, I feel like we kind of get rolling and things like that. But we just couldn't, couldn't execute and get that first first down on those drives. And that's something that we have to work on. All right. Hey, thanks, Deuce. Good luck this week. Thank you. No problem. Michael. Yeah, Deuce, did you have any personal goals or uh, statistically related goals that you had set for yourself as a freshman? Um, not really. Uh, really, I just kind of wanted to come and prove myself through fall camp and everything. Thing. Like, whatever happens, happens. I wanted to be a team player in whatever role I got. Uh, I wanted to go and play in it. As far as statistics go, I mean, Whenever I was younger and stuff like that, I want to be like a 500, 500 guy, like 500 receiving, 500 rushing. I feel like that'd be a pretty cool thing, a thousand all-purpose yards and things like that. But uh, statistics never really, never really been wrapped up in them. Uh, really, it's all about getting the win at the end of the day. Have there been any kind of unanticipated challenges that you've met this year as a freshman running back? Um, just speed of the game, of course, whenever you're playing in high school. Uh, you played varsity for three years, so you get this sense of comfortability whenever you get to your senior year. So, like, go out there and you're playing the games, and it's like everything is slowed down. Uh, playing as a freshman in the Big 12 against, I mean, some of the biggest, fastest players in the nation, uh, that is starting to slow down a little bit, but it's still super fast and everything like that. Uh, as far as thing goes, and that does just come with experience. That's pretty much the biggest thing is the speed of the game, just trying to allow it to slow down more and more with reps and things like that. Thank you, Deuce. No problem. Jake. Just going back to the uh, Texas recruiting thing really quick. Uh, I was talking to your high school coach and a few of your high school teammates a few weeks ago, and they seemed really ticked off that you didn't get any offers from Texas or that they didn't show any interest from you. Um, were you upset about that at the time? Uh, and if not, how did you deal with that? What was what was your process of uh, just navigating that time in your life? Um, I wouldn't say that I was upset or anything like that whenever, I mean, no interest was really shown or anything like that. Uh, I mean, really, my dad was one that kept me level head and everything. He was like, your opportunity is going to come from wherever it's going to come from. It doesn't have to be UT. It doesn't have to be Baylor or any of these teams right here. But he's like, someone's going to see what I see and what everybody else here sees in you. And whenever you get the opportunity, you have to take it. And I mean, just take it day by day. And of course, I've been put in the situation I am now, and I wouldn't change it for anything. And you've talked a lot about how much you're enjoying Kansas State and the culture there, especially. Was that something you knew you were going to get going into your time there? Uh, and part of the reason why you chose Kansas State, or was it more kind of a pleasant surprise as you spent the summer and uh, these first few weeks there? Oh, I, I automatically knew whenever I met Coach Klein and all the coaches here and just how genuine it was whenever I came up for the spring game. And, I mean, I walked in and everybody was, I mean, conversating. And then whenever I went and talked to them, and everyone was genuine here. I could just tell the culture that they were trying to build here was going to be amazing. And I was like, this is a place that I can see myself in. And then, I mean, just throughout the summer whenever I got here, I mean, nothing faltered. Everything was the same. I mean, that genuine uh, coach and all the coaches here that, I mean, they all love us and they're going to, 
do the best that they can to put us in situations to be the best players and men that we can be. I mean, that's the biggest thing for me, and nothing's fall through. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Brian? Hey, uh, Deuce, is, is there any kind of coincidence that seems like three of your best games this year have been against, like, Texas teams? Is that just coincidence, or, or do you – I mean, we hear this a lot. I mean, is, do you put any extra stock in, man, I really want to, you know, stick it to the in-state schools? Not really. I mean, I, that's, that is a pretty weird coincidence. Uh, I mean, I feel like I've never really gone into a game uh, that's playing against a Texas school and be like, I've got to show them, like, what they're missing out on or anything like that. Really, I mean, once once I start playing, I kind of let the try let the game come to me. Let's not try to force anything because once you start forcing stuff, I mean, start missing things because you're trying to press and anything like that. But I mean, as far as it goes, I mean, not really, no, uh, really like vendettas or anything against uh, any Texas schools or anything like that. And then as a follow up, just how, how big was Saturday for you? Just in terms of you know, you had kind of a few games in a row where the opposing defense. Defenses have kind of bottled you up, and it seems like you got. I mean, it seems like you got more on track Saturday. So I'm saying for your personal confidence. I mean, how much did that do? Uh, it did a lot. Was of course uh, the past three games, I've been bottled up quite a bit, and then this last game, I got to get out and run a little bit and uh, use my abilities and stuff like that. So it's a it's a pretty big confidence gainer uh, as far as everything goes, but still a lot of work to do.